Peyton Royce. Peyton Royce. Peyton Royce. Peyton Royce. Breakdown. Cool. What's up, guys? Channel 16 here, back with another author for WWE 2K20, My Career. And as you can see, me, Aquila, are taking on Josie Jane and El Mago Jr. That is very surprising that El Mago has a fucking son. That's that's weird and trippy, man. Small world. But you know I can't do shit. Not can't do shit. Oh now I can. Cool. Triangle. Damn it. Pounder! Oh shit. Okay. Duck it. Duck again. Oh, there we go. Oh, yes, that's awesome. Okay. Damn. Damn. Double damn. What was it? Damn three times. You counting and I can't hear shit? That's, a, that's, that's fucked up. I can't hear shit and he counting. Get it to red. Okay, there we go. Get her in the ring. Of course, grapple me. There we go. Oh my god. Tripping. What am I doing? You fool! What are you doing? God damn idiot. Oh shit. It's over. Push off and roll backwards. You can pin him like that. You know, just hearing that does mean he can try to, you know, kick out or something, but nope! I'm out. It's alright. Yeah, you did good. You did good. Catch your breath. We'll get him next time, alright? You good? Uh, what a fuck up.
Guys, come here. We need to talk. Oh, that's not good. Why am I leaning back like that? Is it about your disgusting ring mat? Because I feel like it's making me itch all over. Hey, who was that for? <laughs> for playing to an imaginary crowd. It cost you the match. Red, great job. Keep it up. Remind me why I show up here every day to get tortured? That's not torture if you're paying for it. Now what hey. I didn't tell you was that match was Just actually Just because it says on that wall right there. For what? Is WWE coming to town? Not quite. It was a tryout for the local Winterfest that's coming up. The organizers asked me to put on a wrestling event. That's great. Who are we going to face? I wouldn't mind a rematch against those two. Slow down. After what I just saw, only one of you was ready for their first official match. Sorry, Red. You'll get your chance soon. Uh, Red's the one who's ready, not you, doughhead. What? When it comes to in-ring ability, Red's got you beat by a kilometer. Isn't that less than a mile? Oh, thanks for the conversion, Albert Asswipe. <laughs> Bottom line, you're too focused on the entertainment side of things. Well, maybe you weren't focused enough on the entertainment side of things. Didn't you only appear in WWE, like, three times? Uh, four, if you count the time I helped carry Macho Man to the ring on his fancy chair gimmick. You mean a sedan? No, it was a chair, not a car. Either way, I was in WWE four more times than you'll ever be. I'll make it there someday. It's on our list. Oh, yeah, and someday I'm gonna poop golden nuggets. No, no offense, Red. Whatever. You'll see. Congrats on getting your first match. You know I'll be there cheering you on. Thanks. I know. Uh, speaking of cheering her on, since you like running your mouth so much, you can accompany her to the ring as a manager. That actually might be a better fit for you long term. A manager? That's not what I'm here for. You'll figure this out. I know it. Oh, one more thing. I need to know what to call you so they can advertise the event. That's easy. I'm sticking with Red. Kids started calling me that in high school because of my temper, but... I'm gonna turn it into something positive. Okay. Man, what about you? Sticking with Denver? Mm, I don't know. Sounds too regional. And Omelie. I know. How about uh, Albert Asswipe? <laughs> nah. Carl Botch? Wanna count all the moves you botch? <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. How about I pay tribute of course you to my would. wonderful trainer and call myself Riley Flash Jr.? Oh, that ain't happening. Do you have any other nicknames? Trey! No, no, don't listen to her. I kind of like that. And you can spell it T-R-E, so it's kind of like three in Spanish, as in getting a three count to win a match. Which probably won't happen very often for you, but you get it, right? Yeah, I get it. Great. Then Trey it is. Thanks a lot. No problem, Trey. And hey, I just realized we can cross something off our list. Come up with awesome wrestling names. I don't know about the awesome part. I kind of like how, you know, Riley Flash put it. T-R-E. Then the other way around. Ah, oh, cool. It's a shame you can't explore this part of the arena. You got Josie Jane in the ring. And El Mago Jr. I feel like... I feel like this... Could have been... Like, once you, um... Like, what happened? Like, where you just, uh... After talking to X-Pac, you're just put into... You know... Just put into the match... You know, against Josie Jane and El Mago, and... It's kind of strange that we're still here right now. Very strange. All right. Any podcasts? Well, this is new. Welcome back to Women Who Fight, where we cover everything from the world of women's professional wrestling and mixed martial arts. I'm your host, Robin Ray, along with my good friend and MMA junkie, Kit Lasko. Hey. <laughs> so, Kit, I know you've been dying to talk about the Ronda Rousey situation, so have at it. Well, look, everyone has already broken down Ronda's title loss to death, so I don't think there's any need to cover that, okay? But what I do want to talk about 
is who's next. Mm. Goldberg. Assuming Ronda is going to be out a while, who's the next big thing to come along in MMA and take over the division like Ronda did? Oh, uh, well, I was prepared to discuss upcoming opponents for Charlotte's Divas Championship, so uh, don't ask me. Okay, uh, fine. Well, I'll just hit you with one name to remember. Hmm. Brooklyn Von Braun. Okay. She was a state champion wrestler in high school who has recently made the transition to MMA, and she looked absolutely dominant in her first couple fights. Brooklyn Von Braun. Von Braun. Right? Uh-huh. Von Braun. All right, got it. All right, so yeah. can we talk about Charlotte now? Dude, we only spent like 10 seconds talking MMA. WWE always gets the majority of the show. What's up? Well, it is my studio. It's your parents' basement. Yeah, that's been converted into a professional podcast studio. Your mom brings us oatmeal cookies and lemonade. Okay, do you not want her to do that? No, I'm just saying we should be balanced with our coverage. As always, women who fight also applies to your two hosts. Mm -hmm. All right, let's just take a break and sort this out. Yeah, whatever. Fine. I think I just heard the timer go off on the cookies anyway. Mm. They smell really good. Yeah. See? (laughs) Uh, That was was enjoyable. Okay. But let's see. Josie Jane, who's just in the ring. Heard you got on the Winter Fest show. You only get one first match. No pressure. Okay, so. Come up with awesome wrestling names has been scratched off the list. So, let's see. Uh, Swap. Damn! <laughs> Sorry, can't get dinner tonight. Have plans with Mago Jr. Maybe next time. Damn! Damn! <laughs> Had a date and it didn't work. Reminds me of high school. <laughs> hey, what, what have you been up to? You've been very quiet lately. Making me nervous. I will be too. But dang, my character tried to axe out Josie Jane. That's funny. <laughs> Shut down for El Mago Jr. Hmm. I actually like that. That actually put a genuine smile and laugh. That is very good. <laughs> very good. Oh, man, I'm freezing. What are the chances I can bring this out to the ring with me? Zero. But you should be plenty warm out there with all the hot air you produce. <laughs> Can't believe you didn't have a bigger career with singers like that. <laughs> Hi, sorry I'm late. I had to make like seven connections to get here from Orlando. Oh, hey, Peyton, seven connections. No I appreciate you doing me this favor. Red and Trey, this is Peyton Royce. We met when she trained here in Calgary, and now she recently signed with NXT. So who am I facing tonight? And by the way, it's cold enough to freeze the tail off a brass kangaroo. Can I have this heater out there for my match? Oh, sure thing, Peyton. What? You'll actually be facing Red tonight in her first ever match. Wow, it, it's an honor. We actually watch you on NXT all the time. And at least when my friend Trey here isn't hogging the laptop and watching weird videos of... Who knows what? She's kidding. I told you to stay out of my browser history. <laughs> Wait, she said this is her first ever match? Yeah, Red's only been training for about three months, but don't take her lightly, she's really good. Three months? It took me longer than that to get here. I can what only kind imagine of why. Is red? If anything, with your lack of experience, you should call yourself green. <laughs> what? Anything she says with that accent is funny. 
After I'm done with you tonight, you'll understand why they call me Red. Because all that pretty white snow out there will be stained red with your blood. And then every time it snows, the children who were here tonight will be reminded of the carnage they saw and refuse to go outside. And after you spend weeks in the hospital and are finally able to drag your broken body onto the airplane back to Orlando, the pilot will be so terrified by the sight of your mangled face, he will lose control of the plane, sending it crashing down to the earth whoa, and- Whoa, 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 whoa. I think she got the point. You have major issues. Uh, what the heck was that? The old hothead red comes out when she gets angry. We've been working on dialing it back. I like the intensity, but just focus that on your match, okay? And if you can take a break while you're painting the snow red with Peyton's blood, maybe stop and soak everything in. This is your first match after all, which is a big deal. It's on our list. Sorry. You're right, and I'm happy you'll be out there with me. I'm gonna go stretch. Should I tell anyone with kids to leave? Nah, she'll be fine. I hope. Yeah, because saying that you're going to turn the snow red with Peyton's blood is <sighs> saying somebody is very fine. Truly, truly. Oh, cool. Well, so much for hit detection. Okay. Knocked down. Wait, where am I? Oh, there I am. I got so distracted, I missed the reverse button. Wild moose attack. <laughs> oh god. Oh, knee. She got that strong knee. And another botch. Now, since this is Red's first ever match, I put a few tunies on Peyton Royce to win. Yeah. <laughs> You do realize you're still in commentary, Gord. What you're saying right now, you should be fired. I can't even get out of the ring, damn it. Come on. Get out. Come on, Aquila. This is so bad. <laughs> yes! Damn it! So much for an instant recovery. Have to wait for shit now. Okay. Oof! Right on the knee. Oh, there. That's bad. Wait a minute. She could get disqualified for that. Wait a second. Trey is finally doing something useful. <laughs> yeah, nice. Oh damn. Nice. Yeah, we don't need to hear your sob story, Gord. Please stop talking. It's so irritating. Peyton Roy is trained here in Calgary and is now an NXT superstar. You can watch her every week on the WWE Network. 
which recently turned one year old. The crap. And that reminds me, my wife's birthday is tomorrow, and I didn't get her anything. Hey, Todd, uh, run out and snag me as much Winterfest junk as you can for 20 bucks. I'll pay you back. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. Welcome back, Peyton. Okay, yeah, Gore needs to stop talking. He is botching so much. It's clear Riley Flash has a gem of a student here with Red. Uh, he hasn't sent anyone there to we go. WB yet, but I think she may be the first. Alright, and... BAM! Nice. Oh, oh shit! Red looks to be in trouble. G'day, Peyton. Koalas are cute, but they have terrible personalities, kind of like you. And, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, the Great Barrier Reef is more like the Just Okay Barrier Reef. And, 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 and boomerangs are a sham. They never come back when you throw them. Uh, <laughs> uh, I really don't know that much else about Australia. Uh, oh, 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 your chain of steakhouses is severely overrated. That's funny. That's hilarious. <laughs> like Trey trying to come up with jokes. That's so much like me. Royce is originally from Australia, but spent a bit of time training here in Canada. I wonder if she now says, Good day, eh? Okay, so she can have double reversals. That means she could definitely counter me any particular moment. But she won't. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so what are Aquila's moves again? The bookend, multiple power bombs, and a spear. Okay. So I gotta trick the AI a bit. Right! Okay, let's just do it. Hope for the best. One, two, three. Nice! Yeah, no commentators for this one. So weird not hearing any com commentary for like a victory, you know? It's weird. So, uh, win, wrestle first match and win first match. That's pretty good. That was awesome! It was everything I've ever dreamed of. I'm numb with excitement, or maybe I'm just frozen, but either way, I get to cross two things off our list. And you did it without emotionally scarring any children. <laughs> Wrestle first match, and win first match. Nice of your mate to help you out there tonight. Maybe if I see you again, I'll have some backup too. I look forward to it. By the way, I didn't really mean any of the things I said out there. Especially about you having the personality of a koala. You're way more pleasant, and I'm actually a big fan of your people's blooming onions. You're a total bogan. Wait, is that a good thing? I don't think so. Congrats on your first win, Red. I knew you wouldn't let me down. And you're not going to either, Trey. What do you mean? It's been a last minute change of plans. My surprise opponent for tonight was injured. Is that who I think it is? That's right, it's me. The King of Cuteville, Prince Pretty. Unfortunately, I slipped on some ice and stubbed my turning toe. Your turning toe? Yes, the most important toe, E.I. The toe one uses to turn on a runway? Ugh, I can't stand non-models. Anyway, it's a shame all these uggos here tonight will no longer get to see me compete against Riley Flash. Not that it would've been much of a contest. I mean, look at this man. <laughs> I can't let myself go. He couldn't lace my boots on his best day. To be fair, some of my finer boots are slip-ons that don't have any laces, but you get the point. 
Anyway, Trey, I need you to take Tyler's place against me. I... I thought you said I wasn't ready. You're not, but I liked what I saw from you out there during Red's match, and also I don't have any other options. All right, I'll do it. First match. <laughs> do you want a picture to commemorate this moment? That'd be great. <laughs> Nailed it. I'll post it for you. Hashtag mmm gorgeous. Yeah, that's so 2015 Tyler Breeze. Okay, new emails. Dad, haven't been able to get a hold of you for a while. Need to talk. Call us back when you get this. Did you get Dad's text? Call us ASAP. <laughs> oh boy. Swap. Okay. El Margo Jr. Had to leave early, but wanted to tell you, great match. Can't believe you beat Peyton. F what does it say? Feliz, Feliz Navidad. Why did I just say Feliz Navidad? Is it Christmas? I can't speak Spanish. That's the only way I will speak to Prince Pretty. You know about fashion. Obviously. Go on. Well, I already went out there once tonight, so I want a different look for my match against Riley Flash. Do you have any last minute suggestions? Ah, the classic quick change, as we models call it. Well, when I look at you, I see three options that fit the theme and location of this show. Lumberjack, Prince Pretty, Speed Skater. Do do do. Alright, I'm gonna close my eyes even though I'm not on camera to see this, but I just like those options, so I don't know what I picked. Hopefully it was the lumberjack. Who wore it better? I'm kidding. We all know I did. Good luck, Prince Not So Pretty. This <laughs> Okay, so obviously I picked the Prince Pretty attire. And you know what? I'm going to do something very interesting. So I'm just going to go to entrances and I will check back with you in a moment. Wow, that's an interesting look. You don't like it? It's fine. It's just that maybe you should worry about the actual match, you know? I know you don't like to hear it when it comes from Riley, but he has a point. You might be too focused on everything other than what happens inside the ring. People remember cool entrances and costumes. Entertainment is what makes wrestling great. Wrestling makes wrestling great. Well, there's more than one way to thread a needle. Actually, there's only one opening on a needle, so... Whatever, you know what I mean. Anyway, what's more important is you're going to have your first match. So have a great one. And entrance, too. Thanks. Oh my god. This is so hilarious. I like it.
Let's see what this guy's entrance looks like. You know, I'm pretty sure there's no music in this post recording. You know what? Yeah, I'll just skip it. If he thought I didn't have ring skill, ugh, I do now. I think what that means is We saw Trey out here earlier Ow. in the corner, but he looks a bit different. So, bottom barrier. What is the bottom barrier? Is that like... Oh shit. There we go. Alright, I think I should just get him outside the ring. Considering this is Trey's first official match, he doesn't look half bad. I mean, other than his outfit. Come on, man. Riley Flash has wrestled the who's who of popular superstars throughout his career. He never actually beat any of them, but who's keeping track? Okay. The bottom Four. barrier. What's the bottom barrier? Seriously, what's the bottom barrier? This is like... This is fucking like showcase where it told you specifically what to do but not how to do it. So like, what does it mean bottom barrier? I don't know what that means. Damn it. I feel like that's outside the ring, to be honest. Is the student going to become the master here tonight? Probably not, but it still should be fun to watch. Bottom barrier, bottom barrier. Still confused. Two, three, Bottom four, barrier. Now, I'm not saying Trey's outmatched here tonight, but this is his first rodeo, literally. Be sure to check out the Winterfest cat roping competition later tonight. Three, All right, I'm gonna need a second. Okay. 
after a little time. Yeah, that made no sense. What's he doing, hey? Help! Help! My tongue's stuck! Oh my god. Coco! Yeah! Hey, hold on! Come here! Help me out! Come here! Come on, help me! Ah! Trey just got himself out of a sticky okay. situation. But will he make it back into the ring before the ten count? Nine! Injured tongue at all. This match will continue. That's just embarrassing. And we've had some great wrestlers get their starts at Calvary over the years, and Trey's not one of them. At least not yet. Crazier things will happen. Yeah, he deserved that. He deserved that. Hey, I want to thank everyone for coming out to the show. And also, it needs to be said that I had two students who had their very first matches tonight. Red who beat Peyton Royce earlier. <laughs> Isn't that incredible? And now Trey, who had a good effort on short notice, but got a little bit ahead of himself. We'll work on his counting. Trey, I I'd let you have the mic, but I think you might be a bit tongue-tied. <laughs> Give it up one more time for Trey. I must say that was kind of embarrassing, but pretty cool too. <laughs> what a night! I'm thinking Pavones to celebrate. Isn't that place super expensive? It's on me. Well, technically my parents, but we deserve it. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Now get that heat blasting. That's weird. Gas is full. I'll, I'll call them back later. Well, maybe they can help with the car. And we can tell them about our first matches. No. Hey, it's Red. You're on speaker. Oh, hi there. Are you visiting Denver at college? What? Uh, now's not really a good time. Why? Is something wrong? Or are you having car trouble? Yeah, we are. How'd, how'd you know that? Just hang up. Cut the crap. We remotely disabled the SUV because we know you're not at school, and we're pretty sure you never were. We got an alert about a substantial charge in Canada for something called Riley Flash's Wrestling Academy. And then after we looked into it, we discovered charges for the past few months, including a crazy hotel bill, gas, food, clothes, you name it. Do you know how disappointed I was when I realized I was going to have to return all those reward points? I was this close to a free trip. This close! It is not about the stupid points. We were hoping you'd come clean on your own about all of this, but I guess you're just gonna keep on lying. Hey, wait! Look, this is what I want to do with my life, and no matter how many times I told you that, you still didn't support me, so I was pretty much forced to lie. Would you rather I be miserable at school? Of course not, but you have to be realistic. You are never going to make it as a pro wrestler. There's a better chance of me dating a supermodel. Frank! <laughs> Which is impossible because your mom is stunning, and I would never date anyone else. I will make it, and when I do, you'll wish you would have had my back before I was successful and famous. It's not too late to try to put all this behind us. We'll activate the SUV if you come home now. Then I can try to get you re-enrolled in school for next semester. You're gonna have to ship the car home, because I'm staying here to pursue my dreams. Maybe someday you'll understand that. Hey, wait! What are you doing? You're gonna get yourself killed. I'd rather that happen than talk to you right now. Leave me alone. Sorry, but I'm not going anywhere. We set out to do this together, and this doesn't change anything. I mean, other than the fact we now don't have a car or somewhere to sleep, but you know what I mean. I still want to do this if you do. I appreciate your loyalty, but you've lied to your parents and me about what we were doing here. 
And you basically sat back and let me steal from them. Don't worry about the money, I'll pay them back. And I'm sorry, but you've always told me to take the advice from my birth parents' letter, right? About following my dreams? Well, that's all I was trying to do. You didn't need to lie to do that. It's the only way I could see this working. But I'll never keep a secret from you again, I promise. From now on, it's total honesty between the two of us, okay? You're gonna know everything, even how many times a month I shave my toes. You shave your toes? Weird. See? I'm an open book. So, no more secrets, okay? I know he said no more secrets, but you can't tell him ours. It will ruin him. Okay. No more secrets. So now what do we do? We're carless and without the credit card. Pretty soon we'll be homeless. I think our only option is to hit the road and try to make some money on the indies. But we'll have to start roughing it like actual up-and-coming wrestlers. You think we have enough cash for a new car? I wouldn't say new. I'm actually intrigued now. What's the secret that Red's hiding? We managed to get a used car that fell under our budget, probably because it also fell under various recalls and safety violations. Do we stick our phones in this slot? Nothing's happening. I think that's a tape deck. This car doesn't exactly have the latest features. Roughing it, remember? Right. So I'm assuming there's no Bluetooth. No, but I did find an actual tooth in the trunk. Oh, God. Shark or human? Human, I think. Lame. Well, now that we have our extremely safe and luxurious ride that may or may not have had a body in the trunk at some point, where to? We do have Wrestle in Memphis on the list. Assuming this piece of junk can make it that far, then I guess we're headed to the great state of South Carolina. That is where Memphis is, right? Close. Maybe I should drive. It's fine. I got this. <laughs> Is that also a feature on older cars? Nope. Don't think so. Uh, that's the end of another chapter. Oh, sweet lord. What the fuck is this? Okay, let's see. Messages. Sorry I didn't see your message about having dinner before you left town until just now. Maybe some other time. Good luck. God. It's like... Uh, I feel insulted. It's like my character is constantly trying to axe Josie Jane out and she's refusing. You can just tell me that. Just tell me you don't want to go out. That's fine. Denver, it's your mom and dad. I know we uh, had some words the other night, but we wanted to let you know if you change your mind about things and, and want to come home, you're always welcome here. Did you tell him the school said it's not too late to enroll for next semester? Yeah, I, I don't know if you heard your mom, but she said it's, it's not too late to get into school. Anyway, let us know if you want to talk. In, in the meantime, be safe out there. Hmm. Okay. Oh, cool. Another podcast episode. Gord Wilson here, welcoming you back to Calgary Musings, your guide to living in the Stampede City. I want to update everyone on this past weekend's Winterfest, which was a huge success. Sure, there was a slight malfunction with some folks being stuck on a Ferris wheel, but really, isn't that just free bonus ride time? That's terrifying. And most importantly, there were no wild moose attacks this time around. One of the highlights of the weekend was the wrestling matches put on by our loyal sponsor, Riley Flash. The standouts included his student Red, who in her debut match defeated Peyton Royce from NXT. But I think my favorite part of the night was when this guy, Trey, 
Another one of Riley's students got his tongue stuck on one of the metal barricades at ringside. Oh, luckily, a fan with some hot cocoa helped him out. But man, talk about a sticky situation. Am I right? Anyway, while we're on the subject of wrestling and Riley Flash, let's take a quick break to hear from our sponsor. Hi, I'm Riley Flash. You may know me from WWE television when I carried the Macho Man's fancy chair to the ring or the time. Yeah, that's no different than the other one that came before it, so save <coughs> my breath for that. Also, anything else that was crossed off the list for Trey? No? What about Red? Does she have anything? Let's see what she has. Uh, just J. El Mago. I already read that message. Josie Jane, good luck on the road. I'm sure we'll cross paths again. And don't let Trey hold you back. No offense. No offense, Trey, if you're reading this. Oh, wow. You know, wow. What a bitch. Uh, El Mago Jr., my dad can get you booked in Mexico if you ever want to head down there. Buena Surda Amiga. I, I can't speak Spanish to save my own life. Uh, but, you know, reference to his own dad, El Mago, from 2K19 My Career. Uh, yeah, hey, I hope Brian over at the used car lot hooked you up with a good deal, because if he didn't, I could expose some skeletons in his closet. Or, or in his case, the trunks of the cars he sells. Literally. There might be bones in there. Anyway. Good luck out there on your own. Actually, you don't need luck. As long as you keep that temper of yours in check, you'll be fine. Trey, on the other hand, well, he's gonna need a steady diet of four-leaf clovers if he's gonna make it. All right, I need to get back to training the next crop of future WWE superstars. Keep in touch and make me proud. I know you will, at least. Man. They have no hope for Trey, which I could pretty much understand, but, you know, it's rough. Real rough. Catching up on all times has been great, but we should really get going. Besides, shouldn't we save some of this for our speech later? But we just got through all the boring backstory stuff. It really starts to pick up from here. I'm down for more. Hey, guys. It's so good to see you. Congrats on the Hall of Fame. This is really happening. It's not official yet. We have to actually make it to the building. They're not gonna start without you. And even if they did, some of the speeches are so long, you'd still have plenty of time. Great. We were just telling Pac all about how we got started. Didn't we cross paths on an indie show early on in your career? We did, at a minor league baseball stadium in Memphis, to be exact. That's right. I knew you had it back then. Trey, not so much. Why does everyone keep saying that? Because, because you didn't know the difference between a wrist lock and a wrist watch? Speaking of wrist watches, we really should get going. From my experience, this day goes by pretty fast. So you really want to relax and soak in every moment. Lead is right. When I got inducted with DX, everything just flew by. Then let's get back to soaking. Lita, if my memory is correct, you were just in Memphis for an autograph signing, but Red had other plans. Oh boy. So this is where I'm going to be stopping the walkthrough for today. So if you enjoyed today's walkthrough of WWE 2K20, my career, smash that like button, comment, subscribe, look me up on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And as always, I will see you next time.